BMW announced that they would place its first um, full automotive manufacturing plant in South Carolina in 1992. Construction began in 93 and we moved into this plant in um, July of 1994 um, and the first car rolled off the line um, in September. We began our manufacturing operation with um, one of our benchmark cars, if you will, a 318 sedan. Um, that was important because we had a new factory, new workforce, and we were able to prove to the world that BMWs built in South Carolina were equal, equal to, if not exceeding, the quality of BMWs built anywhere in the world. It's very important that people understand that a BMW is a BMW is a BMW. The quality and the excellence is there no matter where it's built. Um, the men and women of South Carolina proved to the world that they could build BMWs. We started with the 318, then we added the Z3 Roadster. Um, the Z3 Roadster's life cycle has ended. We now build the Z4 Roadster, the M Roadster, the Z4 Coupe, the M Coupe, and the X5 Sports Activity Vehicle. The X5 came in between Z3 and Z4. So we built five models in this plant, and those models are built only at the Spartanburg plant for worldwide distribution, and we export to about 124 markets. Today, um, we employ 4,500 associates, and we had more than 2,000 by the year 2000. Um, we have 49 suppliers in South Carolina. 39 of those are new to South Carolina and move, put operations in South Carolina to partner with BMW. And BMW has invested $2.7 billion in its South Carolina operations, and our suppliers have invested $2.1 billion. I believe it was a home run. I hope South Carolina believes it's a success. BMW certainly believes that its decision to place the plant in South Carolina um, was the right decision. Um, we are part of a worldwide network, um, and we are known um, as the Spartanburg plant, and we are pleased with how things have gone, and we only look forward to the future.